You know what they say, it's not the size that matters, it's how you use it, but for the iPhone 12 mini, it's kind of both. What's up YouTube, it's your boy. BMAC. And if this is your first time here to this channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you smash that subscribe button with all notifications turned on so that you never miss another video on this channel. And if you've been here before or if you're already subscribed, welcome back. So today we are indeed breaking down this bad boy right here, the iPhone 12 mini. I still think Apple should have called this the iPhone 12 small but it's the mini, it is what it is. And the one thing they say is that good things come in small packages, and that's kind of exactly what we've got going on here. We've got some things to talk about, so let's break it down in this iPhone 12 small review. Okay, no, the iPhone 12 mini review. First things first, let's talk about one of the most obvious things when it comes to this smartphone, the design how things are designed when it comes to the iPhone 12 mini. So in case you couldn't tell from the name, the iPhone 12 mini was engineered and designed to be exactly that, a mini iPhone. There's something oddly satisfying about holding this iPhone 12 mini in your hand, and it fits so well in your hand. It's only about five inches tall by two and a half inches wide, with a thickness of just over a quarter inch and a total weight of just about five ounces. It really is a mini iPhone. It looks like an iPhone shrunken down. With the iPhone 12 mini, it's honestly somewhat relieving to have a phone that just is feels light as a feather compared to something that feels like a brick in your hand. But that aside, we do have a new square edge design. We have aluminum square edges on the iPhone 12 mini. Aluminum squared off edges that have a matte finish that honestly, I find myself liking a little bit more than the stainless steel edges we get on the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. You are also getting a ceramic shield on the iPhone 12 mini, a shield that Apple is saying provides four times more drop protection, a shield that makes the iPhones with a ceramic shield the toughest iPhones yet. But besides that, some recognizable similarities here. You still have physical volume up, volume down buttons, a physical silence toggle switch, a physical power button with face ID on the front of the iPhone 12 mini, but unfortunately no other way of authentication. So no touch ID anywhere and especially not on that power button. And in case you're wondering, with the iPhone 12 mini, you do also get an IP68 water resistance rating, meaning you could actually fully submerge this thing in up to six meters of water for up to 30 minutes. Not that you would actually want to try that or anything, but I guess you could. And we do get five different colors to choose from. With the iPhone 12 mini, you could choose either black, white, product red, green, or blue, all of which, surprise, surprise, look pretty darn good. They all look good. Every iPhone always looks good. So five iPhone 12 mini colors to choose from. But next up, let's talk about the iPhone 12 mini display. We've got a small display here, but some big specs. The iPhone 12 mini sports a 5.4 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display, which surprisingly is actually the exact same kind of display we're getting in the top of the line iPhone 12 Pro Max. And we even get a 1200 nit maximum brightness rating. The refresh rate is still only 60 Hertz with a 120 Hertz touch response rate, but that 60 Hertz, I guess that's less of an issue on the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 mini. Definitely something I think should have been in the iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max without question, but here on the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 mini, not that big of a deal. 60 hertz refresh rate for a phone this size and for what you're gonna be doing on this phone, I'll take it. But with all that having been said, the display of the iPhone 12 mini is honestly impressive. Impressive for the specs you're getting in this size. And it truly does shine in more ways than one. But let's talk about these little bad boys right there, the camera system. What are the cameras like on the iPhone 12 mini? Well, anytime we're talking about Apple image processing here, you could expect some pretty solid photos and that trend continues on the iPhone 12 mini, but as it relates to the cameras themselves, you do have front facing and rear facing cameras on the iPhone 12 mini. On the back, you've got a 12 megapixel F 2.4 ultra wide lens, in addition to a 12 megapixel F 1.6 wide lens, complete with optical image stabilization, which allows some of our favorite Apple image processing processes, such as night mode and deep fusion. Little side note here, you will not be getting Pro Raw support on the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 mini, 
Kind of a bummer considering how excited I am about that on the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. If you consider yourself a serious mobile photographer, Pro Raw is gonna be game changing, but unfortunately it's not gonna be finding itself housed on the iPhone 12 mini. Flipping things around on the front of the device, you are getting a true depth camera system. A true depth camera system that houses a 12 megapixel F 2.2 selfie cam. If you like taking selfies on the iPhone, You'll love taking them on the iPhone 12 mini. In terms of video recording capabilities, some impressive specs here. You can record video up to 4K 60 frames per second and HDR 30 frames per second on the iPhone 12 mini, both on the front and the rear facing camera systems with slow motion 1080p 240 frames per second on the back and 1080p 120 frames per second on the front. And like I said just a moment ago, pictures on the iPhone 12 mini, just as you'd expect them to be, Pretty darn good. Apple just time and time again nails that image processing. Intelligently running so many different tasks, operations, and processes to make the photo the absolute best it could be with an iPhone camera. And with the iPhone 12 mini coming complete with HDR capabilities and deep fusion for detail, I keep saying this, but I'm just gonna keep repeating myself. There are so many good things, especially as it relates to the camera system here, packed in to a super small portable package. But a lot of that does have to do with the performance and processing power that the iPhone 12 mini is capable of. I know what you're thinking, small phone, can it really perform that well? And the answer is yes, actually. The performance of this little thing makes it a workhorse. Well, it's kind of small to be a horse, a, a pony, a work pony. And that is because we're getting the A14 Bionic chip in the iPhone 12 mini, the same chip we're getting in the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The overall fluidity in the OS experience you're going to have on the iPhone 12 mini, the best it's ever been. In terms of memory, you're also getting four gigs of RAM stuffed into this little thing, which again, overall, is just going to help your overall smoothness when using the phone, especially when switching between apps or doing some kind of multitasking. And like we mentioned before, you do get 5G. There's a 5G antenna. This phone is 5G capable. So as soon as your network turns on 5G in your area, you'll be getting those blazing fast 5G speeds. And then of course, we got to talk about storage. Three options to choose from, 64 gigs, 128 gigs, or 256 gigs. Obviously, more is always better when it comes to storage, especially when you're able to record 4K, 60 frames per second, HDR video. That video footage could add up and chew into some of that storage space rather quickly, so goes with my normal advice, get the highest possible storage your budget allows. Nothing kills a smartphone faster than just continuous full storage alerts. Trust me, I know. And speaking of killing a smartphone, the other way to kill a smartphone is with a dead battery. So what's the battery life looking like on the iPhone 12 mini? Let's point out the obvious here, smaller phone, smaller battery. So what does that me. The iPhone 12 mini does indeed house a 2,227 milliamp hour capacity battery, but how does that translate to everyday use? Apple says the iPhone 12 mini is capable of up to 15 hours of video playback, and I'm not a huge fan of screen on time tests because there's so many different factors that could change your actual numbers, but based on the numbers I've seen figure about six to seven hours of screen on time, which means this might last you all day, depending on how much you use it. It really all depends. In general, I don't think the iPhone 12 mini battery is bad. It's just not great. But that's to be expected with such a small phone. That's one of the compromises you have to make. And with the A14 Bionic chip making everything more efficient, that makes the battery not too bad, but again, not too good. So even though we do have a smaller battery, luckily we do have a processor that's making use of what battery capacity we have. You're also getting MagSafe charging compatibility. We've talked about this before. Basically, it's just a way to wirelessly charge your iPhone now, but with a magnetic little attachment making it easier. And with MagSafe charging, you get up to 15 watts of wireless charging as opposed to the 7.5 watts of charging you're getting with just your regular Qi wireless charging. And if you should choose to charge your iPhone 12 mini the old fashioned way, aka with a cord, you can actually fast charge the iPhone 12 mini. You could go from a zero to a 50% charge in just about 30 minutes using a 20 watt or more wall adapter that is indeed sold separately. So keep that in mind. So with all this having been said, what are my final thoughts on the iPhone 12 mini? The iPhone 12 mini, it's kind of like a chihuahua. It's small, but it's yippy and it's got a lot of power energy behind it. And sometimes you can't help but to pet it. Or in this case, 
use it and hold it in the palm of your hand. From a design standpoint, we've already pointed out how wonderful this thing actually does feel in your hand and how awesome it is from a portability perspective. And the power that this thing is packing is, in my mind, pretty unbelievable. It is the smallest iPhone that Apple is offering right now and one-handed mode or one-handed use on this thing oh, brings me back to the olden days where I didn't have this problem right here like you have on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the two-handed, uh, but I want to use one hand dilemma, that thing. Everything just shrunken down into a mini iPhone, a small iPhone. So. Here's the deal. If you want an iPhone that packs a lot of power in a small package, you're gonna to wanna to get the iPhone 12 mini. You get some great things packed into this little, small, microscopic, almost, device. But of course, that does come with the compromise of slightly worse battery life. And if you plan on doing some kind of content editing on the device, such as Photoshop, Lightroom, video editing, a larger display is probably gonna come in handy for that. And you might get a little bit of eye fatigue when you're focusing on such a small display and for so long. So a couple things you gotta keep in mind. But if you want some of the best features of the iPhone packed into something, the iPhone 12 mini is what you would get. Small size, believe it or not, is actually a feature of the iPhone 12 mini, but so is the power and the performance that you're getting with it. It might be mini, but <clears throat> thing packs a punch. It almost flew out of my hand when I did that. Woo Calm down, BMAC. As always, if you guys are interested in finding out more about the iPhone 12 mini, you guys could always head to my affiliate link, bmac.link slash iPhone 12 mini, bmac.link slash iPhone 12 mini, or as always, there will be a clickable link in the video description box below, so check that out if you're interested. And with that having been said, I'm gonna go take this iPhone 12 mini, considering how thin and small it is, I'm gonna use it as a razor blade on my windshield. Kidding. Not actually gonna do that. Although I wonder if you could. I will see you guys in my next video. Check this out. Take the iPhone 12 mini, make it disappear. Oh, got it back, what do you know? So small you can do magic tricks with it. Love it.